I think it's really neat how they can carry that on their head. They keep it balanced. Temple that we've come across. Uh, it's only for Indians, Indians, not foreigners, and it's uh, for Lord Krishna Temple. In Pushkar, uh, in the next few days, they're starting a camel festival. I don't know if we'll be here for it, but they're going to raise camels. big sort of stadium arena for it. Apparently there's a tremendous amount of people that are going to be coming in here in the next few days. I just love this scenery. Camels, horses, cows, trees, sand, tents. <laughs> like something right out of a movie. Even a camel needs a good scratch once in a while. See? Those poles are good for something. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Damn, does that feel good. Oh, damn. You spoiled it. I wonder if you can tell that there's a camel festival going on here in Pushkar. Look at the jaw action on this guy. He's got a good rhythm going there. And a lady who's a shepherd. Here come some Rajasthan colors. Very colorful. Got some old wise men coming up here. Okay, we're walking in the marketplace, and what do I see that I just have to get a picture of and some video footage of? And Mike Fraser, this goes out to you. We're in uh, Pushkar, India, and I look around and I look up, and what do I see? It's the oh my God, the Pink Floyd Cafe here in India. Go figure. Anything's possible in India. You just gotta look. There you go, Mike. That goes out to you. Maybe one day we'll have a beer there. Okay, this temple which you see right now is the only one of its kind in India, all of India, because it's, uh, I hope I say this right, Brahma Temple, which worships the Creator. There's three gods in the India, main gods. Brahma is the top one, the Creator, but it's not very much worship, as much as uh, Krishna or, uh, or Vishnu or other ones. But this temple is the only one in India that worships Brahma. As you can see, it's quite busy. So we'll try to get in. Okay, we're inside the Brahma temple. And they're worshipping Lord Indra. 
Okay, so you get some flowers, and then you come up here. These are our special flowers. And you put some in the temple up here, and then you take the other half and you put it into the water, which is a holy lake. This is the inside of the temple. And the masses just keep coming in and leaving. Very popular temple because it's one of a kind in India. Okay, we're in a Jinir, and we're at a very famous Sufi. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the founder or just a great Sufi leader, but it's a huge, huge temple here for it. It's very, very crowded in there. We were just in there, and uh, it's hard to move. picture from the top of the uh, Sufi temple. <laughs> Going the gates there. <laughs> Sacred pool. These are huge cauldrons. And the inside of the cauldron. People throw lots of money in. <laughs> And this is the entrance to Draga, the Sufi uh, burial ground. Also, Sean, I think, is the hole, is also buried in here, which is a very famous uh, historian figure in India.